usual fashion, Beautylish delivered my Wayne Goss order just lickety split, literally. Like, I filmed a full coverage long wear sweat proof makeup tutorial right before this. And when I was like, oh, it's no surprise, there's my Beautylish order, I had to take off my eye makeup. And um, since it was still full coverage, I had to redo my concealer and all that. And now my face looks cakey. But it's worth it because I have to get this on the eyes as soon as possible. <laughs> so I placed my order on Beautylish for the new Wayne Goss Smoky Quartz eyeshadow palette as well as I got the little duo. So I also got the new Granite Eye Coal. I asked you guys because I almost didn't pick this up. This actually was one of the first Wayne Goss items that majority were like, I want you to review this and let me know if it's worth it. The interest on this seemed higher than usual. So that was my sign. I was like, I'm here. Let's order it. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested. Let's get into it. So I did end up picking up the Smoky Quartz bundle, which came with the eyeliner and the eyeshadow palette. $69 for that. But you can also just get the eyeshadow palette individually for $55 which is pricey, and the eye coal for $14, which I think is a very, very good price. So a lot of you guys wanted to see comparisons with pre-existing Wayne Goss palettes, and I'm here to give that to you, so let's take a look at the palette, shall we? Here's the box component that all of the palettes come in, as per usual, made in the USA, 24 month shelf life. If you need any information, I'm doing my best to let you can see, but I'm sure you can't, sorry. And then the palette itself is Going to come in the usual components. These components sometimes they're very hard for me to open for some reason. Some of them get jammed, but this one is good. Like I can close it and open it easily. So my snap closure is not broken this time. You do have a mirror, and then here is the palette. Now I will say, looking at the photos online, the colors look a little richer online than they do in person. They're, they have a little bit more of a gray turn to them in person, which I actually like. I think the gray turn to it. It makes it look more different than the rest of the palettes that Wayne Goss has. I will say just like this definitely looks like more of a warm chocolate brown online. This is definitely more gray and cool toned. This looks more dark and brown. This is more gray. This looks darker. Mm, this one is cooler in person. This one is a little bit lighter in person and again more cool. This is pretty close. A little bit more gray. Yeah. It's, it's more cool in person than it looks online. <laughs> same style, same everything. Let's get to swatching, shall we? Yes, yes, let's do it. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the lovely bone shade. So we have four mattes, one shimmer, and one celestial shade. Okay. Nice. They feel good. I like this. The shimmer shade, I feel like, doesn't give off too much reflex. It's definitely more subtle. If you're not familiar with my personal thoughts on previous palettes from Wayne Goss, I find them to be a bit inconsistent, which is why I was unsure if I wanted this. I just don't always have the best experiences, but they feel pretty good. Look at that beautiful shade. Okay, this shade I was worried. I feel like it had potential to be patchy, but... This palette definitely looks promising. Boring, nonetheless. I mean, boring sounds mean to say, but like wearable for the everyday woman, neutral, all of that. Okay, let's put it on the eyes. <laughs> uh, actually, no, I lied. Let's do some comparisons. If you guys don't know, I have COVID right now, and I said in yesterday's video, I, I feel good, but I'm trying to keep my videos short and sweet while I am healing, just so I don't get too tired. So here is the comparison between the original Imperial Topaz and Smoky Quartz. Totally different, if you ask me. I was worried that these two would look similar, but side by side, you can see the comparison. Yeah, warm, cool. Totally different if you have that one. And also ignore Ignore my nails. I'm telling you to ignore everything. Just ignore this video. Ignore my nails. Can't get them done right now. This one's kind of close though, right? This is the Tourmaline palette, which, so I know, I, I didn't love the Tourmaline palette. Right? A little close-ish? Let me swatch them. Let me do side-by-sides. Here's the side-by-side. -side. So if you aren't one to notice minute differences in between palettes, if you have the Tourmaline, I don't know that you need Smoky Quartz. Smoky Quartz is a little bit more neutral. It definitely is a little bit of that 90s cooler tone, but very minimally. Because you'll notice, okay, the Celestial and the new palette so much better. This one is all hard pan and whatnot. These two shades are similar. Very close, actually. The one in the Tourmaline is just shimmery. This is a little bit more warm up here. Much more cooler and shimmery, but like different. 
but similar in terms of where you put what on what eye and there's only going to be very slight tonal difference and maybe like finish differences i'm gonna leave that up to you but yeah those <laughs> were the two compared i think overall though my assumption is going to be that smoky quartz is going to look cooler on the eye so it changes that overall image so let's see let's put her on also i almost didn't mention this but i figured i would wingos does have a cool tone palette on his roster but they ain't close so you don't have to worry about that okay let's get this on the eyes i'm gonna do one eye and i'll be back wayne goss in his video said you're supposed to be able to get these like 90s inspired smoky eyes oh my gosh it was so easy to get that kind of look i do think that kind of 90s style smoky eye can be intimidating to create and you might not know where to start i mean great selection of colors for this and now seeing this on the eyes it's a lot different than the way tourmaline looks on the eyes in my opinion so yeah this this is good <laughs> So I'm going to start off with a Sigma Diffuse Blend and we're going to go into the bone shade. And this is very, very subtle, as you can see. It just does a nice job of diffusing the eyelid, which I think the finish on this is so pretty because, you know, Wayne Gotts is big about this looking good on any age. And I think the finish of this powder is so beautiful on mature skin because it blurs the eyelid. So with this bone shade, just put it all over, especially those of you who have mature eyelids. Wayne Gotts 17 brush, we're going into this shade right here. If you have a skin tone similar to mine this is such a beautiful transition shade and I like this palette I think it gives you a good amount of depth and if you want more depth you can grab a black in any other palette and you can kind of mix the shades but I like the depth levels in this palette as well I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade and just diffuse it on the lower lash line I don't need any precision really since it is a smoky look, so it's okay for me to use a bigger brush in this sense. Very pretty. BK Beauty A502, and we're going in this shade right here. This shade is interesting because it looks like in some lighting that it can pull warm, but it really doesn't. There's a little bit of kickback. There was with the taupey shade that we used as well, but nothing crazy. And again, it has kind of that blurring finish to it. I don't know, has all of his eyeshadows had a finish like that? I feel like this is the first time that I'm truly noticing it. I think I'm noticing it because my face just looks drier from taking on my base products that I explained earlier. But yeah, I mean, I'm seeing now more than ever how this is so appropriate for many ages. I'm gonna go ahead with that shade and again, layer it. This brush is a little smaller, so it's not gonna go quite as low. And I noticed with some Wayne Goss palettes in the past, some patchiness, I didn't get any patchiness today. The shade that I was giving the ultimate test for for patchiness was this one right here. This is an Olimar Cosmetics Detailed Diffuser Brush. And I'm very happy to report no patchiness with this shade. Just a beautiful blend. I am very pleased with this palette. I'm telling you right now, I think it is a beautiful palette. I think it is so easy to create a look with this palette. The shadows kind of work themselves out. This palette to me feels a little bit more elevated than his palette in the past. I really like the pearl palette. I actually have that in my makeup kit, but just with these types of shades, I've noticed from his brand in the past, there's a couple that I felt were patchy and difficult to work with. So good. This one is Isam W21. We're going in with this shade right here. So this has a very subtle reflect to it. Honestly, it could almost pass as a matte shade. It's a satin matte hybrid, really. There is a little bit of reflex, but I mean, at least in makeup school, they taught me reflective shades might not be the best for mature eyelids. So this is a really great finish where you can blend it all over the crease and it's still not gonna look bad. But to me, as somebody who likes shimmers, it is a little underwhelming. So if you like reflective shades like me, this shade underwhelming, but it does completely change the tone of the look. It has much more gray in it. So I feel like it made the look more of that 90s smoky eye. So even though I would like for it to be more reflective, I think it holds a place in this palette. I was worried that it wouldn't. I was unsure that I would enjoy this and that it would have a purpose in this palette, but it really does. It instantly made the look more 90s and smoky right there, putting that all over the lid. I'm also gonna take it on a small Morphe E36 brush, and I'm gonna keep this tight to the lash line. And then finally on my finger, I'm taking some of the Celestial shade. I would say this one is a little bit more 
more sparkly than some other celestial shades I have from him. I like that. It doesn't feel like it's going to get hard panned as easily and the glitters are a little bit bigger in this. Maybe a little bit chunkier and messy, but I prefer this. I think this is super pretty. Definitely out there. You don't need to use this if you're not into this kind of look, but I think it's a really high quality celestial formula. And again, it feels elevated from his previous palettes. I don't know why, but this palette is just hitting me right today. You have the easiest smoky eye with this. The ease of use is reminding me a lot of Tom Ford with this palette, just how the shadows kind of blended themselves. That's one of my favorite things about Tom Ford. You pop three shades on the lid and you have a look that is blurred and beautiful and looks like you spent hours blending. That is how I'm feeling. This is giving me ease of Tom Ford. So dang, I like this palette. This is a good one. I am very impressed. And I don't know if you can see, but it blurred the eyelids, which indicates to me that this is gonna be phenomenal for mature eyelids. So if you like this kind of look, you're looking for for the easy 90 smoky eye. This is gonna give it to you. Okay, I like this one. <laughs> now let's go into the essential eye cool in the shade Granite. I have a couple other colors of this eye cool. I really like it. I think it's a very fair price. It's $14. So let's see. I mean, Made in Czech Republic has a 24 month shelf life. It comes in the same packaging. Let's see the swatch here. I'm excited about this and I wanted to pick this up because I do not have an eye coal or an eye pencil this color. It's like a really dark gray. So let's see, I'm gonna just run this along the lash line. I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of tug along the lash line. Nothing crazy, but something to note. I'm taking a Morphe brush and kind of smudging and smoothing the lash line. Huh, really interesting. I would say comparing it to the Jones Road, the best pencil, that's their name. <laughs> the Jones Road is a little bit smoother across the eyelid because it's almost more powdery. This has a little bit more creaminess to it, so it's kind of grabbing onto the skin a little bit. But it blended out nice, but it's also drying down really nice as well. So I like this for a cool pencil. And I think this is really cool with the palette itself. Like what a cool sultry kind of combo. I'm gonna run this along the waterline. And again, I'm gonna blend this out. And it's blending out on the lower lash line so nice. I don't know that I would use this pencil to get a smooth line, you know, across the lash line or anything. This is working best when blended. I just think it's holding its color enough so it's not over blending, but it still is creamy enough that you can kind of guide where and how you want it to look. And then you get this really easy smoky eyeliner. So I like this. I mean, I think $14 is definitely an appropriate price for this. And I like it because I don't have a color like this. So let me put on some lashes and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on this. So here, Here's how we are looking. I mean, I think this is just the most effortless, beautiful, smoky eye. And now that I have lashes and all of that on, I'm really feeling what I did with the liner and smudging it out. <laughs> okay, I really, 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 really like this palette. I mean, I'm gonna tell you now, $55 as always with Wayne Goss's palettes, they are expensive. You get a lot of product, but you only get six shades. So you have to really like the shades and know that you're gonna use this palette a lot in order to justify that price if that's something that you're concerned about. But I can tell you now, I'm really into the quality of this palette. I love the overall look that you get with this palette. I don't want to go as far as to say it's, it's a unique palette, but I mean, there's so many warm palettes on the market today. I think this is just a really great, effortless, smoky eye palette. Lots of characteristics similar to Tom Ford, if you ask me, in this one. And it just gives a effortless, a blurred simple, smoky, ugh, okay, how many times can I say that? So I'm really, really sold on this palette. This is one of my favorites from his line, definitely. And I'm really feeling the granite eye coal as well because I don't own any eyeliner pencils in this color. And having it smudged out with this palette, I do not regret buying the combo of these two at all because chef's kiss. So overall, yeah, I, I really, really like this palette. I really, really love this look. As always though, I am going to continue to use this more. So stay tuned because I do do a monthly rankings video of all of the palettes that I've tried. And this one is being added to that, but mm, 
Okay, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and being subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you in the next video tomorrow. Bye guys, have a good one.